the Supreme Court, where individual rights are supposed to be protected. Importance it might be. I mean, there could be any number of reasons, like, gee, I don't have any toilet paper in my cell, I gotta take crap. I mean, yeah. <laughs> that, that could have been something, could have been as, something as benign. trivial as, and yeah. benign as that. I have no idea why he was walking out. The point is, he walked out calmly. He stood calmly in front of the control council. He stood with, in a non-hostile, non-threatening manner. His hands were at his side. And this guard just kept shouting at him the entire time he walked out. And during the entire time he stood there until he was suddenly attacked by the guard. It was yeah. an amazing attack. I uh, never, never witnessed anything. You didn't like expect that. to see that attack. Oh, heavens no, heavens no. You didn't see anything in Armstrong's behavior that warranted that kind of an attack. <clears throat> I could see his his left side, his his back, and his front because I'm looking directly at him from the side. The only thing I couldn't see was right was right side. And when I was interviewed finally by the major crime unit. Because you're looking from the green. I'm looking for the cell green. Down this way, and he's right down here. And so he's and he's facing this direction. Right, so you're so seeing I'm seeing his, his, his entire left side. And of course, I can see his front and his back uh, on a, on a slant angle, if you will. But I can't see his right side. So the major major crime unit, when they finally did interview me, uh, asked me, "Well, what did he do with his hands?" And I said, "Well, I couldn't see his right hand. If the guy raised his right hand." and flipped on the bird, I couldn't see that. But I, there was okay. nothing there that would have ever suggested that that was an action that he took. I couldn't see it one way or the other. In talking but there to was his... no, But there was no motion by, by Brian in terms of attacking a guard or doing anything but standing in one spot. So we got an unemployed 41-year-old welder, gets his head smashed open like a watermelon while he's waiting for hearing on why he didn't appear at some court hearing. Now he's dead. Now there's no one to make child support payments. There's no one to be a dad to that, that boy, uh, the, the young Armstrong that got left. How old was his son? Ten? I, I don't know the age of his son. I've never met his son. 10 or 11, I think, if I remember rightly. Uh, but it's clear from, the, from this report, which is not your report. That's correct. You That's had nothing to do with this report. This is from the state of New Hampshire chief medical examiner. That's correct. And he's calling this a homicide. Has anybody been arrested for homicide that you know of? Uh, certified letters to uh, the New Hampshire and the U.S. Attorney General to inquire about this uh, case. And uh, I've asked under the Freedom of Information Act for uh, copies of all reports, etc. Nothing has ever been released to me, and I've been consistently told there has been no final report until about two about five weeks ago at this point, when I called them, they said a final report had been prepared and they would make a copy of that for me, but I have yet to receive that final report. After five weeks, you have not received a final report. Interesting. Uh, who is supposed to issue that final report? Uh, it would be coming from the New Hampshire Attorney General's office. Who And who is that Attorney General right now? Oh gosh, it's changed and I don't we just had a change in governor, so I don't know who the current one is. Who was the attorney general? Well, the, the attorney general was Philip T. McLaughlin. And what has he gone on to do? Uh, he's with, uh, I, I really don't know. I believe he's with a uh, uh, foundation. Okay. So he's uh, a the, new the attorney current, general. The current, the current attorney general, my, my letter of February 25th, uh, 2003, the current uh, Acting Attorney General is Stephen Judge. We had a change in governors in January, okay. so we do not have a new appointed Attorney General. So my last and final, my last letter to uh, New Hampshire was to Stephen Judge. Well, I'll contact Stephen Judge myself and see if I can get a copy of the report because it seems to me strange. After three and a half years, the Chief Medical Examiner in New uh, New Hampshire has ruled this a homicide. And yet nobody has been indicted after three years. It, we have a situation in Lompoc Federal Prison where the custodial guards there, one was murdered, uh, uh, Officer Williams was murdered in plain sight of, of inmates. And everybody knows who murdered him. It's on videotape. And to this day, there has been no trial. It's been five years. And there are multiple witnesses and still no trial. This is the reverse, where the inmate was killed by a guard, and I don't see the, uh, 
authorities of New Hampshire, which I believe were Republican for the last administration, weren't they? No, they were not. They it were was, Democrats. Uh, Gene Shaheen uh, was a Democrat. Democrat, and they just went Republican? Just went Republican. Just went Republican. Mm -hmm. And still, I don't see anything happening to justice, and that's, that's why I do on second thought, people. And I'm very pleased and happy Mr. Burke could come all the way from New Hampshire to be here on Second Thought, and I really appreciate you being here. If you just surfed in, uh, Megan Wells here, my co-host, and I are sitting between us here. Uh, the eyewitness, probably the only eyewitness that spoke out, I think, to date. Is there another eyewitness that spoke out? Uh, the press has reported another eyewitness. Brian, after he was attacked, was moved to another pod in the facility and a different individual in a, in a pod that Brian was not in claims that he saw Brian attacked later that evening. But that particular eyewitness uh, 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 is not credible from the standpoint there is no way to see from one pod to another pod. Right. And I think that eyewitness has been discounted. But there no other eyewitnesses have been identified in the press. So you're, you're basically the only credible eyewitness to the homicide of uh, this unemployed 41-year-old welder, Brian Armstrong. Oh, and I have reasons to believe there are at least six others. But they're not stepping forward. I don't know if they have stepped forward or if they were even interviewed by the major okay. crime unit. Okay. Well, that's fair enough. Um, if you just surfed in, I'm William Wagner with Megan Wells, my co-host here, with Bob Berg from New Hampshire. Uh, Bob Berg has a degree in... Mathematics. Mathematics, and I believe a minor in sociology. That's correct. <clears throat> he was in jail for not a crime. He wasn't convicted of a felony or misdemeanor. He was just being held, he was being harassed by judicial abuse of Judge who? Uh, Bernard Hamsey. Bernard Hamsey to force compliance uh, with an issue having to do with uh, child support issues which Mr. Berg had correctly appealed, only the judge simply wouldn't wait for the appeal to be heard. He was going to put you in jail to force you. How long did you sit in the jail? Oh, gosh, I think it was about uh, 40 days. 40 days. And did you then go back to court and say, you're right, Judge, went, I give in? I went back to uh, court uh, roughly uh, 40 days uh, after I was uh, uh, detained, and I was released. On your OR? Pardon? On OR or on the nope, bail? Just, or just, just, just released. released? Just released. But you never complied? I never complied. I still have not complied with the court order. So he's, the judge years. is just mad at you and he says, I'm going to make you suffer. Uh, yeah, and I was thrown in jail the year after that, again, for continuing to non-comply. For how long that time? Uh, let's see, the second time, I think it was another 30 days. Now, has your appeal been settled yet? The appeal has finally been heard by the New Hampshire Supreme Court. Um, a decision came down in the fall of the year. Uh, they basically have declined to uh, uphold New Hampshire statute on one of the questions, and they have declined to uphold federal statutes. I'm now preparing to go into federal court uh, to pursue uh, that avenue of appeal.